Hello and welcome to Mozilla Academy. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can make a Python uh, encryption script that will encrypt a given message for you and also decrypt it such that we are capable of seeing it both being encrypted and decrypted. So our little script here consists of three methods. We have our generate key method, which uh, will generate a random key that we'll use for the encryption and afterwards for the decryption. So here we are making use of symmetric encryption. Then we have encrypt message, which takes two parameters. It takes a key and a message. Based on that, it will take the library fernet, which also will use to generate the key. It will uh, make a cipher suit that we will store on a variable and will then use that to encrypt our message. And following that, we will return the encrypted message such that we can print it and see it in the console. The last method is the decrypt message. That is of course needed to decrypt our message again such that it's readable. Here again, it has two parameters. It takes the key similar to the encrypt message. So this has to be the same key. Hence, we are using semantic, semantic encryption. Uh, and then it takes the encrypted message because we need that in order to decrypt it, of course. So if we run the script, we see here that first we generate the key. Then we have a little input uh, call here where we will ask for a message, so we can type in whatever message we would like to encrypt. When we have received that, we'll call our encrypt uh, message, which will then encrypt the message, print that out for us to, such that we can see it. Afterwards, we call the decrypt message, which will of course decrypt the message. And again, we'll display this to ensure that we have actually successfully decrypted the same message. So let's try run this. So now we'll uh, uh, type the message, so we'll just say, for example, hello world. So this is the plain text message we would like to encrypt. We enter this, then we see that we have an encrypted message, which is this string right here. And then we decrypted the message again, meaning that we got back to hello uh, world again. But we can also print out the key in case that, let's say we want to tr transfer this uh, message uh, to another person and we would like them to decrypt the message when they have received it. So they would need the key to do so. So we can just here, just write print, and then we will just print the, the key variable where we are storing the actual key. So let's try to run this again. And this time we will write hello world without a, a W. So as we see here, when we insert the message, instead of the encrypted message immediately, we actually got the key. So we can use this uh, along with the encrypted message to decrypt it back again to hello world in case we need to transfer this. So this is a way that you can create a simple uh, encryption script. You can then modify this as needed. It could be, for example, in a messaging app, uh, similar to WhatsApp, where you want to encrypt messages coming in and you also want to decrypt messages coming out. But you can also adjust this to use asymmetric encryption, meaning that you're using public private key, so a key pair to encrypt and decrypt, which is a more secure way because then you don't have to transfer uh, the actual key along with the message. Because if this key falls into the wrong hands, everybody with that particular key can of course decrypt all the messages. So in order for this to be a secure way of communication, the key here has to be kept totally safe and you will of course risk that if you transfer it to people along with the message. So this was a quick way to create an encryption script. Remember to like and subscribe and then I'll see you next time here on Winslow Academy.